Hello, Aquarius. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, this is your weekly tarot reading for July 3rd through the 9th, 2023. And if you already subscribed to my channel, thank you and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Mystic Door family. And consider subscribing to help support the channel. All right, Aquarius, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. First card, you have the Seven of Swords. Next, the Five of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. Major Arcana card, the Emperor. The King of Wands. And your overall energy for the week. Major Arcana card, the Star. Beautiful. Let's see what your Oracle message is for the week, Aquarius. You have vulnerability. And I did get a new uh, crystal deck. These have things on both sides. So let's see what's coming through for Aquarius. And we have Anx. And you're making magic. Final message for the reading. What are we getting for Aquarius? Okay. We have the message of fire. All right. Aquarius. You are coming up with a game plan, a strategy this week, or um, something. Could be the start of an idea, heading off into something new. You're almost putting yourself at risk Really, um, a true acceptance of who you are and what you want. So really, bold confidence coming through this week, calculating everything. And you feel it's worth the risk. So this could absolutely be in regards to the work that you do, maybe a project you're working on. Could be in regards to relationships, something you're involved with. And you're indicating, um, it's indicating the energy that you feel it's worth the risk. So first, taking a look at your overall energy here, I am getting the, um, let's see, is it focusing? Okay. I'm getting the feeling... Like I'm getting a vision like you've got your fingers crossed. And so here you are, you have the star card where you're weighing things out equally, knowing uh, what's at stake. So it's that kind of energy for the week ahead, something you might be involved with, um, you know, could certainly be investing money, could be an investment in regards to a relationship possibly getting engaged or moving in together, or possibly the purchase of real estate, either for financial investment or your actual place you're purchasing as your home. So the star card, very positive card, kind of overseeing this week where there's that strong hope of that new beginning, things working out the way that you have calculated, so to speak. And the star card showing up in general is always a sign of success. And this is your overall energy for the week, Aquarius. So there you go. First card here. You have the Seven of Swords. Now, normally, Seven of Swords can be a card, an energy of betrayal, maybe someone doing something behind your back, but I am not picking up that energy at all, Aquarius. 
This is doing your research, studying, collecting information, coming up with a strategy, a game plan for what it is you want. And this seven energy here can be things that you don't have a control over. So if you're making an investment, you can calculate as the best of us out there as to what's going to happen, but you really have no control over it. So that kind of, um, that kind of starts the energy of what I feel is like taking a risk, taking a chance, could be again in regards to an investment or maybe a new job or a new relationship but definitely weighing out the pros and cons of something this week. Maybe a couple job offers uh, possibly came in if you're trying to decide which one or which way to go. Now, right below your Seven of Swords here, you have the Ten of Cups. And I feel this is um, the outcome you're looking for. This is why you want to take the risk now. This could certainly be in regards to love, Aquarius. This could be someone that you want to spend your, your life with, uh, that you want to have a family with, someone uh, that you want to join forces with. And it's not so much, um, you know, taking a risk, but it is if you've been hurt in the past. So definitely can be that you're gathering up your resources here, calculating things out, the pros and cons before moving forward. And certainly can be in regards to a relationship. You know, this is, um, I call this the happily ever after card. So you could be finalizing something, deciding about something that is going to have long lasting effects is what I'm picking up. Now your next card here, you have the Five of Wands. This is kind of where you have a 50-50 split as to the risk involved, something um, you feel passionate about. So it certainly could be relationships, but it could be involving your money, your finances, investments. Five of Wands represents some competition, conflict, different points of view, different results that can happen. And the Five of um, numerology wise is an energy that can shake things up it can certainly disturb things that have been in place for some time so there's kind of the risk factor that i'm picking up this week but right below it is the very strong emperor energy now i know you're an air sign but there could be someone you're in partnership with that might be an aries could be someone in business, investments, could also be someone that you're deciding if you want to share your life with them in Aries, asking them to move in, asking them to get married. This is really moving forward, take charge energy. So could either represent the person around you that you're involved with, or you could be exhibiting some of the traits of the emperor here. It has the four energy where you want something that is long lasting. You're hoping for the result that will give you kind of like this, you know, 10 of cups outcome, happily ever after, you know, happiness, love, success. Now, next, you have the four of pentacles. And we see the doors are locked. This is an indication of holding tightly to how things are currently. Four can be a very stagnant number where you are not willing to move an inch. It is pentacles. It can be in regards to money, finances, your investments, but you are certainly, you know, doing your research, taking a risk. And I feel for some Aquarians, you're taking a risk in regards to your money or your job. Definitely something where the payoff is really huge is what I'm picking up. So, Four of Pentacles is that stability that you have in place where things are safe and secure, a firm foundation. And I do feel, Aquarius, that you're taking a risk in some manner. If it's not in regards to money and finances, it can be in regards to a relationship in some way. Now, right under this Four of Pentacles is the King of Wands. And the King of Wands can be a Leo individual that possibly you're involved with. It could be a business partnership 
or you're doing, you're conducting like a deal, some kind of partnership with this King of Wands. And for some Aquarians, definitely can be seeking out new employment as the King of Wands could represent someone who's in charge, someone who might be doing the interviewing, the hiring. This person, you might be taking a chance just uh, for the fact that your current employer not to find out that you're looking for possibly another job. Could be something as simple as that. Uh, where you need to play your cards close to the vest. But you want a better job, you want a better working environment, better terms, you might say. So King of Wands can represent someone that you're dealing with, obtaining that um, position. And yes, King of Wands can represent someone you're dealing with in regards to investments and money. But your cards are really indicating that you are doing the work, you're doing the research, you know, you're gathering up your resources, you're taking your risk for this 10 of cups, for happiness, for success moving forward. And yes, possibly taking a risk in regards to whatever, you know, you put into place. Taking a risk and having something that has been long lasting disturbed. And that could be a job that you've been at for quite some time. And you need to keep things quiet until if you are indeed going after a new job, until everything is finalized. But your overall energy is the star card, Aquarius. And this is actually your card in energy. So I do feel that whatever it is coming your way this week, whatever you're trying to decide on or take a risk or make a choice, you've pretty much got the cards indicating you know, you're going to have success in whatever it is you're trying to obtain this week, whatever you're trying to do. Now, your Oracle card message for this week is vulnerability. Yeah, definitely the energy involved here. This is real strength. We're seeing that here, you know, with the Emperor card. This is the traits that you're exhibiting this week. You're accepting uh, yourself as you are. This is removing the armor and then therefore the vulnerability, you know, you're exposed. That would be especially so if you're going to ask someone to get married, you can pretty much know the answer, the outcome, but there is a little bit of risk. They might uh, not say no, but maybe not yet. So you're exhibiting that vulnerability. And this can pertain to if you're seeking out employment with another company while you're still working for your current one. There's a vulnerability factor there. So really stepping out of your comfort zone. And I do feel it's taking a risk in some manner. Might be small or it could be something big. Now your crystal for the week is uh, Onyx. And it does say willpower, strength, protection. Certainly, um, Onyx this week can act as a talisman to keep you focused, to be grounded, centered, and balanced while you're undergoing uh, whatever this risk factor is this week. And your last message here, you have fire. The element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion, and positive transformation. And the King of Wands here is the highest fire sign that you can get. So definitely could be involving a Leo in some way, shape, or form, but new beginnings, possibly renewed passion, but certainly transition, a time, you know, just very much a transitional time. There's a transformation that could be taking place. And with your card, the Major Arcana card, the Star it should be a success. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and visit my website if you'd like to continue with a private reading. Love and abundance to my Aquarian family.